so we have come to the Wagoners Wells National Trust site out in um, Surrey, I think we're in. <laughs> and we've made a new friend straight away. <laughs> Come on, Melissa, you can do it. Be brave. Hey, it won't. There's one up near the car park which dogs are allowed to go in and um, that's that kind of cool greeny coloured one we showed you at the beginning. Uh, there are actually another two lakes here as well that, they're, um, that the National Trust are preserving. They're trying to kind of bring back wildlife, natural wildlife in there so they've asked dog owners not to let their dogs into the lakes. Um, it's absolutely filled with ducks but there's some giant fish here as well. We've just come down to this little bit kind of behind the lake and found this cute little waterfall area and beautiful trees covered in moss. So we're all done now at Wagoners Wells. We only stayed there for a sort of 20 minutes or so because we're heading on now to Clandon Park, which is a National Trust property. Um, it's like a big grand old house, but it was um, uh, damaged in a fire a few years ago. So it's all kind of like a burnt out shell. We're um, doing it up at the moment, refurbishing it, but um, but yeah, we, it looks pretty cool as a burnt out shell to be honest. So we're gonna go, I think we're about kind of half an hour away. So we're gonna head on there now and see what it's like. So this is what Clandon Park used to look like about two years ago. And this is now what it looks like. Undergoing complete rebuild, I think. We're at Clandon Park now. We actually missed our booked um, slot for a guided tour by about 10 minutes. So actually the only way you can see the house at the moment because of the, presumably because of the fire and the kind of health and safety risks, um, you can only see it by a guided tour. So unfortunately we missed our turning off the motorway. So um, we've got to kill about an hour now until the next tour. So we're just having a little wander around the grounds, gonna have some lunch. We've got beautiful sunny days, so that's good. And um, yeah, just wait for our tour to start in about an hour. So I've offered Melissa some oranges. She's gone straight for the crisps. Yeah, I'll finish up with an orange. <laughs> These are her two oranges that she picked. <laughs> I know which one's mine. <laughs> found fish in this pond. Turns out to be newts, look. No, I'll leave it. No, I'll never forget that day. No, no, never forget that day. Okay, if anyone knows what these are, please tell us. They don't look like they should be part of the leaves, but they are. They're really odd. It's almost time for a tour. inside um, Clandon Park House now. It's pretty cool in here actually. Yeah, it's all really burnt out still and um, 
they're currently working on restoring it or they're working on kind of getting some architects and various groups together to give some ideas for restoring it um, but to be honest I quite like it as it is I'd rather they leave it as a ruin <laughs> but um, yeah it's beautiful it reminds us a bit of our wedding venue Upper Deckham House at the moment with this kind of like crumbly ruin estate but it's really interesting they're saying that the um, the marble sort of features down in here are actually a lot of them were false so they found out in the fire that um, a lot of the things that they thought were marble were actually just marble coated um, and same with the doorways as well so a lot of the doorways have these like beautiful kind of triangular fancy edging but actually when the fire burnt it away they just found these big kind of uh, brick archways so that's really interesting amazing what you find when kind of the facade comes away <laughs> inside Clannan Park House. Behind me is the Grotto. It was built in the 1700s. Um, apparently back in the day it would have featured a plunge pool and would have um, also had a statue on the outside. Apparently it would have conjured up images from um, the poetry such as um, the Iliad or the Aeneid. So there's no water in it now but um, still a pretty cool little kind of um, tunnely bridgey thing. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you like Melissa's new muff. I think Melissa likes her new muff.